the big one zero day 10 of the 75 hour challenge i'm feeling sore today i can't even lie today i'm feeling sore my back hurts my legs hurt my mind hurts but tiredness doesn't exist i've slept the machine has been sleeping he has been rejuvenating and he's ready to go he's ready to go again this week trading's not been the best let me just say that to start with i uh, i've had like four gold cells four sls sometimes that is the way the cookie crumbles logged in on the pc because I, I do this every morning you need to you need to check the charts holy shit look at this one sec so from yesterday's video we drew up some graphs of where it could melt through these are the errors we actually touched and just continued up all the way look at that that, that says 2670 we powered through 2650 wow it's an untradable market there's no you know supply and demand zones there's no we don't know where it's been this is an all-time high so it's even harder to trade there's no real technical analysis for gold right now and that's the trade that i pair that's that's the trade that i pair that's the pair that i trade so who knows what to do there but plan of action today i still need to go to my old house and start cleaning it out i need to get a haircut i got a bicep and tricep workout with cardio with sauna coffee's on the table it is it's a bit late it's quarter to nine in the morning right now i've been up for for a minute working funding pairs launching in two three weeks time come on huge also gambling prop firm launching can't really say too much on that one but that's launching as well we've got some big things coming up which are going to take you along the way gonna pick up a new car very shortly very soon so we might it'll be part of the challenge so we'll pick up the new car as well oh it's all looking good it's all looking good i was thinking last night i wanted to write this down so i didn't forget but let me just try and think what i was thinking it was something like i'm on my 10th day the amount that i've done in 10 days compared to the last two months i've done more in 10 days than two months even like the running to the shops the running to the gym hitting the gym the cardio I feel great, you know. I'm not that tired, should we say. Not really that tired. I feel like I can do more in my day. Things that were a task to me are no longer a task. I'm cutting weight. Let's try and see if we can see, see the weight. Slowly but surely, it's starting to peel off. <sighs> Weight's dropping. I'm eating healthier. I just want to... I saw something and it was like day one to day 19. It was this dude. And it's like... He went from like this shape on day one to unrecognizable shape in 90 days. It's like, I've never even really seen myself to like an insane level. I've got myself abs before, but didn't really think much changed on like my face, my chin. And however, if I try and take it to like the next, next level, it could be a completely different transformation. And the reason why I never got there before is because, you know, I'd eat fast food. I wouldn't look after my body in terms of drinking wise. I'd be drinking multiple times a week. If I can cut that out for like a couple months like this challenge, then imagine what the physique's gonna be like, the change in, in the person that I see myself in. And then what's that gonna do moving forward? Would I take up the new traits, the new habits that I've built and continue those? Would I stay the same person? Would I want to continue this 75 hard journey and keep training hard every day? keep disciplined with the snacks i eat keep disciplined with everything which comes with this challenge and that's what got me thinking last night whilst i'm in bed just thinking about this challenge it's just a level up as a human that's all it is it's a level up as a human obviously just it's going to be mad to see the full trans the transformation and the physique firstly but also like the mentality that I build from it. If I'm constantly doing things every single day, building on my own journey, then it's just W's all around. And there's always gonna be ups and downs along the way. As long as you get the sessions done, then it doesn't really matter. Moving forward, let's go get a coffee. Let's go start a day. Either I'm gonna get a coffee, then hit gym, or I'm gonna get a coffee and get my hair cut. I haven't seen my barber mousse in, a, in probably a couple of weeks plus if i get a trim go do the pod uh go do some clips some reels which i do need to do if i'm honest with you haven't done it in about a week so we've got a lot moving forward today 
Just pray that gold just starts to come down so we can actually get in some entries. No point forcing buyers just because the market's bullish. No point forcing any more sales. Otherwise, we're just going to keep losing percentages. All right, let's go on a day. Secure the coffee. Ice camel latte. Smashing it. Waiting for the waiting for the guy to open up the door. He's taking. He's obviously taking a massive shit, isn't he? You can just see him in there taking a shit. But yeah, coffee secured. Now I'm about to get a trim, and then it's Jim. Oh, look who's in there. Look at him. <laughs> He's loving it. Big nice. Business. Yeah, talking about me getting scanned from the Forex <laughs> funder. So he's, he's uh, he said when I launch the next one, oh. let him buy it after the first year. <laughs> Trim has been completed. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Haircut secured, coffee secured. Now heading to the, to the unit, the HQ, bicep, tricep cardio and sauna let's go feeling good though starting to lose weight can see it can feel it i'm in the gym feeling pumped ready obviously a bit mm -hmm. tired can't lie i'm not i'm not saying that i'm not tired because i am tired the thought of doing this session i've got an arm session so it's not a difficult session to do so we're just ready to go but yeah fatigued of course that that's gonna come you know we're on day 10 we've put in an absolute shift yesterday with running we put in a shift for the last 10 days anyway and we still have another 65 to go after this so no point moaning about it no point whinging about it no point saying i'm too tired to do this do that it, it's there's there's no fucking there's no chance to stop we must keep going that's just a light one Slow on the way down, drive on the way up, keep your elbows locked, head forward, and it will just start to burn. It starts to get impossible. Obviously, you've got gravity as well. Don't forget about gravity, pushing it down. Gravity weighs a shit load as well, so we're pretty much lifting up the world. Right, so I'm three minutes into this. My hip flexors in my leg, which is up by the side of your hips, killing me. I really just want to miss it. Maybe tomorrow I have to miss cardio and just walk 45 minutes outside, which I basically do anyway. But <sighs> currently, I'm obviously cutting as well, so energy is low. Trying to smash out sessions with high weights, with little, with a calorie deficit, one of the hardest things. That's why losing weight's hard, because then you want to go eat, eat more than you should. But we're getting there. Just thought I'd let you guys know, I really don't want to be fucking doing this right now on day 10. But we're doing it. And I'm gonna come back when it hits 20 minutes. Cause that's just what we fucking do. We push the barriers. Oh, back now I'm back again. About just smashed 10 minutes right now. I won't be able to pick up my phone in a bit because sweating the fuck out. But I'm gonna smash the 20. I'm halfway. It's me versus this machine. I'm coming out and I'm winning every day of the week. I was just thinking like 10 days in with this sort of challenge, you gotta take every day as it's come. Don't look at the end results. As soon as you wake up, there's no negotiating with yourself. You say, we're still, we're hitting, we're hitting gym, we're doing cardio, we're doing abs and we're doing sauna because this is the way to live. And that's why we're doing it. 
that mindset. And to be fair, when you start to look better, feel better, do more, you start to have more confidence, you start to see that it is possible and changing just a small bit of your lifestyle from a negative to a positive has hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of positive things add into your life start looking at things less harder start to have one more for yourself and that's what it's about changing someone that you're not into someone who you want to be oh, record 20 minutes banked not full. Holy shit. Oh, I'm in the sauna. Fuck me. 40 minutes on the timer. I'm exhausted, exhausted. The day's like, God, the rest of the day's got to be rest day apart from walking a dog in that. Jesus Christ. Start to see results. So I was going to say this whilst I was on the uh, stepper, but like, even weight loss, it goes in different areas at different times. Like, you could have it on your face, lose it on your arms, your legs, your shins, your bum, your stomach. So many areas where you can lose it, and it goes at different points. So you might lose some of your face, then it'll be your stomach, then it'll be your legs. Then it'd be your face again, then your, then your stomach or your arms. So that's why you can't look at yourself or even weigh yourself. Just gotta keep going and gradually see the change happen because you could be you could be losing weight in areas you're not even realizing and go, oh, this week I've put in so much work or last two weeks I've put in so much work and I've not even seen it on my stomach yet. Well, that's because it's on the back of your legs as an example and you can't choose where you lose it first. So keep that in mind that's why you got that's why so many people don't lose weight they don't stick to something or or you know they're not they're half assing it they're not doing it properly they're not keeping a diet clean they're cheating in the evenings or cheating during the day on the weekend or they go out drinking they're hungover they have bad food then let's put them into you know their work two sessions to burn that to burn that one takeaway I'll be feeling this tomorrow and Lord forgive me for the things I've done I was never meant to hurt no one Look at that Take, Looking good, starting to get skinnier on the face, I can see it I'm fucked I'm actually, I'm fucking well drained today Got my protein shake though Gonna go get chicken bacon wrap oh, Gonna cook it at home though Low calories, good protein sources So tell me when it kicks in. But yeah, feeling good, just low on energy. It's expected though. I'm proper taking this seriously, so it is expected. And fingers crossed we start seeing some insane results. 10 days in, one third of the month done. Once we get this month over, we've basically only got one more and then we're there. Come on. Look at that, Chef, Chef Ramsay's at it, chicken on, bacon's on, and then the wraps, wraps behind me, look at that. Whilst I'm cooking as well, just on the charts, taking a look, seeing, seeing what positions to take, nothing's actually, nothing is actually going on in the markets, I'm telling you, I don't know if you can relate, on how your training's been going or you follow other people, let me know in the comments down below. What has the training week been like during this week? Because I think it's just been rubbish, in my opinion. Nice bit of meal though, chicken, bacon, and a wrap all in one, bosh. That's the only food I've had today. Time is nearly half past one. Nearly half one. First meal of the day. I've already trained, cardio, all that sort of stuff, which is why it's important. You don't need to eat breakfast, it's overrated. Just get your workout done, then eat breakfast, have a protein shake. This is how you lose weight 
and gain keep your muscle by having high protein meals it's up to you you know i just personally don't you don't need a sausage roll from greeks you know what i mean you don't need a bacon sarnie in the morning have scrambled egg four eggs three eggs but bosh that's healthy just get used to fasting it's technically fasting i'm going to do a three-day water fast as well at some point during this challenge which is going to be fucking well interesting maybe by the near the end of the challenge i'm going to do a three-day water fast just to lose that extra weight for the progress picks look at that if you can't so cook bacon and then whack it up one or two notches just to crisp the edges like right, this is surely this is better than a fucking big mac meal do you know what i mean it's healthier you know what's going in it lovely jubbly even the chicken so cooked pepper and salt just a little bit around the edges and look you get a big bit chop it in half see what it's saying is it pink yeah be all right be all right so mayonnaise now don't worry about how much mayonnaise i'm doing because i'm putting in the absolute work all right so just allow that and it's light mayonnaise as well now, a bit of chicken, move back a bit so you get everything in. Bit of chicken, in it goes. Smells delightful. You tell me how much you want, babe, as well. Load it up. Okay, enough. Right? Enough for you as well, yeah? Look at the bacon. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Holy shit, look at this. One. One, two, three, four as well. And then on me, on me, on me. Well, some move back on me. Okay, now you're you're fired from the roll. And then there it is. Chicken and bacon wrap. Crunch it up. Food was absolutely delightful. Now it's time to jump in and go buy it. 2659 is our entry. Our SL is gonna be 20 pips, so it's a nice two six five seven only a tight one because that's what you've got to do for risk reward and we've got a take profit at two six six nine which is a hundred pip take profit five to one trade this is what it's going to look like and you could say you know we're going to sell off but new york's just opened and expect buyers to the upsides and collect my five percent so fingers crossed that this comes in we want to look for momentum here as it touches so everyone's going to be jumping in and uh, yeah, fingers crossed that this trade comes in. As we need to try and make 10% to make up all the losses and then in profit. Out in the field, getting the steps in. <sighs> Do like being out. Can't lie though, today I'm tired. I'm very, very tired. We executed our trade though, so now we're just waiting to see what happens. But very, very tired today. I don't know if it's the running yesterday or it's catching up to me, but we're not going to give up. We're still going to continue. Just because I'm tired today doesn't mean I'm tired tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? So we're not going to look at it like, oh, you know, long off tomorrow. Or, or I should go and celebrate with 10 days by going, playing some pool, drinking a few beers. No. All right. We take every day as it comes and we try and do our best to fucking make sure that we complete this challenge. But not only about the challenge, to transform myself. All I know is, is that the more you put in life, you get out. So... That's what I'm gonna do. And I feel good. I feel good about myself. I'm not, I'm not even craving, not even craving going out really too much. Uh, if I'm honest, I'm just more focused on being dialed, just sticking to my diet plan, sticking to my health routine. Just making sure I look back on this and just go, you know, I gave it my all and I can see a difference. There's so many times where I'd get in good shape, but not maintain it. Or just getting a good, decent shape that, I, that I'm familiar with, but not keep it. And that's, that's the issue. Is that people this way? Come on, this way. People don't keep the shape. People don't keep up to what they say. And then they go down, they go downhill basically. And that's just how it is. It just must be human nature, isn't it? Same with trading. You hit bad trades. 
your mind starts sparring, going, fuck, I need to make it back. Then you start panicking. Then you start thinking you're not good enough. And that's why the people, the people in life that are succeeding, they don't know what they're doing, but they're just doing it anyway. And that's just something that you have to take into everything that you look at in life. Just because someone has more money, someone has more subscribers, someone shows you more profits, firstly, doesn't mean it's true. And secondly, you don't know if they're happy. You don't know how their health is. You don't know if they actually know what they're talking about, but they're just doing it anyway. It makes you believe because you give that persona of yourself, you know? You give that image, that energy when you meet someone. That's, that's all it is. Anyway, me and Ted, Absolutely. Ted, Ted, Teddy, Teddy, Ted. Fucking hell, this dog, man. Ted, wait, wait. Look, look. Don't know what he's after. He's searching for something. Not very well behaved, this dog, if I'm honest with you. Uh, it's hit and miss when you take it for a walk. He could either run, run away, or he'll run away and come back. There's two options. But there's one thing that is confirmed. He's fucking running away. Look at him. But he does listen. Look, come on in this way. We're going this way. Come on. Let's see. Loves it. There's been a little deer here the other day. Fucking only went and chased it, didn't he? Jesus Christ. But he loves a walk. And that's another thing, you know. You, it's about 2 p.m. He loves a walk. Why not take him on a walk? Why not get your steps in? But that's enough of me preaching. Fingers crossed on this gold buyers. When I get back, it's it. Take profit. And yeah, that's it. We've placed a trade and now we wait. Just got back from the dog's walk. Look at him. He's fucked. But. Ooh. Look at that. 2663. Come on. We're going to hold no SL entry for risk free trades. Sorted. Aiming for take profit, 5%, 5%. Closing my gold buyers right now for plus 3%. Secured 60 plus pips, as you can see, entry at 2659 and we've smashed 2665. Securing the 3%. And the reason why I'm securing the percent instead of taking it is because if we sell off here, then I will catch entry down this zone here and then back up let's say it does something like this i will then catch the buyers back up to the top and then it's stress-free better to secure the percent because we've been down this week so we secure the percent so then it recovers the losses and then we go again that's also a key thing in trading to make sure that you do instead of always seeking the maximum re reward don't be afraid to close for like plus two three percent it's profit in the end of the day Let's fucking go, what a day. Yes, up today, yes, plus 3% too. That's risk reward, baby.